นะครับคือผมเองก็เห็นว่าการไม่ผลคนก็อธิบายความได้นะครับความจะไม่ประสงค์ที่จะให้คนมามากแต่ว่าไอ้ที่ธรรมชาติที่ห้ามกันไม่ได้คือหมายความว่ามาถึงมาแสดงตนแสดงความรู้สึกนะครับว่าอดทนและรอคอยเพื่อวันนี้นะครับบัดนี้ได้เจอตัวเป็นๆแล้วโอ้โหมัน amazing อ่ะตื่นตาตื่นใจนะครับเป็นความปิติน้ำตาไหลไปที่ไหนคนก็ร่ำไห้อารมณ์แบบนี้มันควรจะเกิดซึ่งโดยข้อเท็จจริงอารมณ์ของผู้คนเนี่ยตอนที่นายกเข้าถึงนะครับเดินทางออกนอกประเทศไทยไปแล้วการต่อสู้หลายครั้งคนก็น้ำตาไหลแต่วันที่ท่านกลับมาตัวเป็นๆนะครับรับนับตั้งแต่22สิงหาคมซึ่งก็เกิดภาวะวิกฤตสภาอย่างหนักผมว่าอาการดูวันนี้ได้นะครับแม้ว่าในเชิงอำนาจดูเสมือนหนึ่งว่าเหมือนกับการไปตรวจราชการแต่ว่าในเชิงความรู้สึกของประชาชนมันสูญหายอย่างน่าตกใจนะครับคือแม้ว่าสามารถจับได้แต่ว่าที่ไม่จับความรู้สึกที่มันมันมองเห็นอารมณ์ความรู้สึกที่อยากพบอยากเจอวันนี้มันมันมันน้อยจนน่าใจครับทีนี้ขันถามแบบนี้ค่ะถ้าเรามองตั้งแต่ภาพที่คุณทักษิณเข้าเฝ้าสมเด็จพระสังฆราชไปไหว้ศาลหลักเมืองใช่ไหมคะแล้วก็โอเคแกขึ้นเพื่อมีส่วนรวมมาแล้วก็มีคนไปรับใดๆก็แล้วแต่และรวมรวมถึงวันนี้ที่กินเ
when those games were first coming out. And I can tell you right now, there was no bigger boost to the skate life, to the skate atmosphere than what Tony Hawk did. And these games were incredible back in the day. They were incredible local multiplayer games, but now with the new technology and on the Nintendo Switch and other platforms, you can play them online with your friends at any point. You have local wireless play. It's really cool to see what they've done with the skate parks and the point challenges and the trick contests and all the different things that we kind of wanted back then, but online just wasn't advanced enough on the original PlayStation. Master at this and the control for that and they've got a bunch of other modes and different cool things it works when you actually have things to do it's like trade certain items you can go collect on their islands you can go to different places i mean it's pretty cool. you can have a ton of fun it's seamless drop in drop out co-op and the world actually changed doing an in-depth retrospective or video i ended up playing some co-op with a buddy and it is fun it's still fun especially considering whatever the case is just say hey let's bust out some rayman legends local co-op turn it on and have fun in the music stages and when you see these old school throwback beat-em-ups double dragon turtles whatever the case is most part with the exception run over there and save them and do different things and knock out ghosts and solve puzzles inside these towers and keep on going higher up terms of netcode and overall performance is solid on the Nintendo Switch. Maybe not quite as good as the other platforms, but you can still go on to this day, go check out Mortal Kombat 11 on the really good. And it's a shame that more people didn't play and it didn't take off a very difficult game. And with the new DLC, you get even more content than Delicious Last Force to play with new games growing up i always talked about it to my friends like hey you gotta come over to the house but now you can play beat-em-ups anywhere when it comes to online play and still to this day despite it launching within the first number of months on the who has the crown and get all the different locations and do everything that you need to do if you're kind of fun online i think that it works really well to play with your friends do some speed races or challenges or even have like the whole standy thing to where you can put different stuff people can see what's going on there i think that they did the best awards you can get this cool new pokemon and everything that is awesome it's a seamless way to enter put together cause the perfect storm to be one of the best got so many options that at this point so many different truck obviously it's more of a games as a service type of game it's still incredibly good and a great multiplayer experience on the nintendo switch one of the best big third party ports on the platform hands down and it's pretty much feature parody with the xbox and playstation and pc versus modes three on three battles locally if you're playing with someone it's fantastic it's so fun to play the multiplayer on the Nintendo Switch. Number four, monster big battle when you go out. Looking at the different ranking systems in terms of what to hunt next, everything set up that it's so cohesive, not only in the single player campaign, but also seamlessly going into multiplayer. So if you want to tackle a challenge with someone, it's not a hassle to get to the multiplayer than to go into some place and say, okay, here's this. Everything seems so seamless, especially with their code system and how they get everything done. I was really surprised at how good it was. Monster of the Rise is a phenomenal multiplayer experience, easily one of the best, super smooth, uses the FPLN system that Nintendo has, the new one, and I think that Capcom really, really did a great job with this game, with Monster of the Rise, and then of course, its expansion, the Sunbreak expansion, which just takes the great online multiplayer that they already had, has a bunch of cool updates and other things that they added into it to make it even better. So between Monster of the Rise, when I was playing that a lot, and the Sunrise expansion, this is up of motion, they can tell you that.